New Hope Outreach Ministries, making a difference by taking the gospel from word to action. And now, today's message. Hand of Father in heaven, thank you, Father God, for this day. Father, we give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor belong to you. Father God, this is your time, Father, as your word come out. Father, I pray that I decrease and you increase, Father, because it's all about you, all about you, Father. And I thank you for allowing us to come together and hear about your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Yeah, once again, I thank y'all. Glory and honor to God and to our pastors who's not here, but we thank God for them too. Amen. I'm not going to hold y'all up today. Not going to be too long. But today, New Hope, we're going to talk about peace. That's what we're going to talk about today. Peace. You know, New Hope, as I get older, I understand time. And as I get older, I understand that time is something that you don't want to take for granted. And I also understand that times also could get tough. And people all around the world are experiencing or have experienced some type of challenge. Whether you experience a financial challenge, personal challenge health challenge or a sense of anxiety at the state of the world through political views. So what would God do about that? Base scripture, John chapter 14, verse 27. Amen. 1427, say what God say. Peace. I leave you. Now, this is Jesus talking. Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give to you, not as the world give it. Now, stop right there. You know, New Hope, I truly believe God knows what's best for me better than I know for myself. You know, God's way is, it's hard for many of us to adjust why I tell you why because God think different than we do God do stuff a little bit different than we do Isaiah 55 8 says for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways not my way saith the Lord You see, God's way is perfect, flawless. Our ways is imperfect, messed up. You see, when we make a decision, we have to go back and straighten it out. So we can get it back right. But see, God's way is perfect. Even when God make a decision, it's perfect. Even if God have to give it and even if God have to take it away. It was the perfect decision. Amen. Well, somebody say, I don't want God taking nothing from me. Because that's not fair. I feel the world owe me something. It's not fair. God takes something from me. Which I'm already, quote unquote, struggling in this. It's not fair. Why would God take something from me? Well, Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 25 says what? Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 25. I'm getting there. I'm going somewhere with this, y'all. Bear with me. Yet ye say. The way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel. Is not my way equal? 
or not your ways unequal. You see, I found out something a long time ago and I had to find out the hard way. God is not the problem. New Hope is God the problem? Or is we the problem? Is God the problem? Or is we the problem? You see, that's the greed of man. The restless of man. And when I say man, I mean people. You see, some people not blessed the way you are. If they're not getting the blessings that they feel, they begin to question God. Not in your face. They question God in their heart. You see, just because a person smile with you, shake your hand. That don't mean that they're always with you. I didn't saw it plenty of times where some people can be blessed and then other people in the same church are not blessed the way they are. They shake your hand. Proud of you. But in their heart, they questioning God. Why have I been blessed like this? Amen. Why you haven't blessed me like them? Because see, I'm going to tell you new hope. And it can be people right now. I'm talking about, but I'm seeing people who you see every day who smile. Because see, some people want your job. Some people want your car. Some people want your house. Some people even want your husband and wife. But smile in your face. I'm going somewhere with this. And to that individual that think that way, I've learned over my 40 plus years, you better keep what you got. The reason why I say this, check this out. Because you know what you got. But you might not know what you're trying to get. Amen. Know what you got. But you might not know what you're trying to get. You might get a little bit more than you bargained for. Because everything that glitter is not gold. That's why it's not wise to judge a book by its cover. Because the grass might not be greener on the other side. And all of that that's going on in this thing called life, you need something called God's peace. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Stop right there. And I'm so serious on this new hope. I'm so serious about this. You know, I'd rather have God's peace than wealth. And I'm serious. Because, you know, it comes a certain time in your life where you value peace. You want to get rid of all that confusion and get rid of all that drama. He say, she say. It comes a time in your life where you want to get away from all of that. Because you're looking for peace in your life. The gospel of John verse uh, chapter 14, verse 27, say peace. I leave you. Some people say, well, I ain't gonna have no peace. Then you ain't gonna have no peace. You know what I tell them? I tell them that's your business. Why? Because Mark chapter four, verse 39 says what? Peace be still. You ain't happy then. If I ain't happy, you ain't going to be happy. That's your business. But I need peace in my life. Amen. Because if you don't have the fruit of peace, hear me good. It can affect your decision making. It can affect the way you look at life. Without this fruit of peace. If you don't have the fruit of peace. 
You don't have the fruit of God. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You might not have all the fruits at one time. Don't get me wrong. Because just because you see me speaking up here, that don't mean that I have it all. No, 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 no. God is still working with me. Because just because a seed is planted, that don't mean it jumping to a tree. Amen. First Corinthians chapter three, verse seven, say what? I know it's right there, y'all, but I like flipping through my Bible anyway. First Corinthians chapter three, verse seven. What does it say, y'all? So then neither is he that planteth anything. Neither he that watereth. But that's God that giveth the increase. You see what I mean? Just because you plant a seed, that don't mean that that seed just going to jump into a tree. No. No. Apple tree just don't spring out apples overnight. An apple has to endure harshness. The apple has to endure the harshness of the weather. The heat of the sun. The frost of the cold. Glory to God. It has to go through something. In other words, what I'm trying to say. Galatians 6 and 9 say in due season, if that apple faint not. In due season. Then, you know, when you plant something, then you go check on that orchard in due season. You cut that orchard open, you cut that apple open, you check it out. Check out the good ones from the bad ones. You cut it open. Taste it. See, is it right? Psalms chapter 30, verse 4, uh, Psalm, Psalms chapter 34, 34, verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blesses the man that trusts in him. Why? Why is blesses the man that trusts him? Well, I'll tell you why. Matthew chapter 12, verse 33. I'll tell you why. We there? Either make the tree good and his fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. For a tree is known by his fruit. Meaning known by your deeds. What you doing here? If you're a liar, I'm going to know you're a liar because you lie all the time. That's the fruit you bear. If you're a thief, I'm going to know you're a thief. Because that's the fruit you bear. Amen. The Bible says, for a tree is known by his fruits, meaning his deeds. That's what it means. Amen. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm. The Bible says, Blesses the man that trusteth in the Lord. Jude chapter one, verse one. That's a small book before Revelation. Real small. I'm not going to hold y'all up. I'm going some other this. Jude chapter one, verse one. Jude. The Bible say the servant of Christ. Brother of James. To them that are sanctified by God, the Father. Now, check, here's the word that I like. And preserved in Jesus Christ. Now, I know I am. Who from the South? I'm from the South. And uh, my grandma, you know, she used to take fruit. Put it in a jar. Preserved it. Amen. I might be the only one know about that. My grandma used to take it and put it up for a while. Check on it, but put it up for a while. When she brought it out, it was the best tasting pie you ever made. 
but she's to preserve it. Amen. Jews say God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ. Put up for a period. But it was kept for a while. What you talking about, Theo? John chapter 17, verse 12 says what? We're talking about preserved. John chapter 17, verse 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them. Stop right there. The Bible said I kept them. In other words, he preserved them. Not only will God keep you, not only will God preserve you, but here's the key thing, y'all. He would do it in his name. Now, there's just not no cliche scripture here. The song say there's power in his name. You see where I'm going? Not only will he keep you, but the Bible say he would do it in his name. In the booth, y'all better give me Luke chapter 10, verse 17. Let me talk, let me see, let's see what we're talking about. The power in the name. Luke chapter 10, verse 17 says, And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And I look around in the body of new hope because of certain situations that happened over the years. They let me know that God will keep you if you want to be kept. And I know, believe me, I know sometimes it feel like God's not even around. Sometimes it feel that way. I know sometimes you praying and it seems like God ain't even listening. Sometimes you feel like God's not even answering your prayer. Is you too busy for me? No. But the Bible say he will keep you. Not only will he just keep you. Isaiah 26, 3 says what? Not only will he just keep you. He will keep them in perfect peace. Glory to God, like my sister say. Perfect peace. Do you hear this? There's peace. Then there's perfect peace. There's peace. And then there's perfect peace. You see, some of us got every now and then peace. What you mean is sometimes we up. Sometimes we down. Sometimes we happy. Sometimes we sad. We do through circumstances. Understandable. Every now and then, peace. Amen. But John chapter 14, verse 27, say the peace I leave you. Not like the world giveth. You see, the world can change on you. Amen. The Bible say the peace I leave you is not like the world giveth, Because the world can change. The Bible said the peace I give you, it will keep you. According to uh, Isaiah 26, 3. Health issues, he will keep you. Financial issues, he will keep you. Personal issues, he will keep you. But not only will he keep you, he'll keep you in perfect peace. But here's the catch 22 to this now. Here's the catch 22 to this. If you want perfect peace, you can have perfect peace. But here's the catch 22. He said he keep them in perfect peace whose mind, whose mind, whose mind is stayed on thee. Amen. Perfect peace. Daphne heard that through our son. She had perfect peace. Why? Because her mind was on God. Knew what to do. That's the catch 22. Whose mind is stayed on thee. While the word falling, 
You can't get nothing from God when the word falling in your mind on the Super Bowl. You can't get nothing from God when the word is falling and your mind is on what you finna cook tonight. Perfect peace whose mind is stayed on them. That's how Samantha and, and David and all these had two circumstances and still come in and praise the Lord with no problem. Joy. Because they might pass the journey because they mind is stayed on. The Bible say he will keep you. If you want to be kept. Amen. Because can nobody keep you like the Holy Ghost. Nobody. Nobody. Family members might turn on you. But when your peace is perfect. It'll bounce right off you. Doctors might say this and that. But when your peace is perfect, it'll bounce right off you. Amen. Because like we said, like they were saying earlier, when you turn something over to God, don't take it back. You give it to him and let him have it. Because when you resort to your own methods trying to get perfect peace, listen to me, New Hope. If y'all don't get nothing else out of this, listen to me on this one. When you try to resort on your own matters trying to get perfect peace, listen, it would never, ever, ever happen. Long as you, I don't care how long you live, it would never happen. I'm going to tell you why. Because you can't get perfect peace on your own. You can't do it. Perfect peace has to come from above. Has to. And you think I'm lying, I'm going to prove it. James chapter 1, verse 17. You can't do it on your own. Not perfect peace. No. You can't do it on your own. And I'm going to prove this. James chapter 1, verse 17 says what? 17. I'm sorry. Let me go there to make sure I'm there. James chapter one, verse 17. We're talking about you can never get peace on your own. No. We're there. There we go. This I'll prove it. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And it comes down from the father of light. With whom is veriness neither. Let me read that because my eyes blurry. Veriness neither shadow of turn. But the point I'm trying to make is you can try it all day long. I don't care what job you got. I don't care. I don't care. Perfect peace. You can't do that on your own. That has to come from God. You don't drive yourself crazy. Trying to keep up with the Joneses and all that. That comes from God. We're talking perfect peace here. I'm not going to hold y'all up, man. I'm not going to hold y'all up. Perfect peace. That's what we're talking about. Do you want it? I know I need it. Perfect peace. The Bible said, now that's the world give you. Different circumstances in life, it don't make no difference. Let me tell y'all the testimony. My wife right here. We're talking perfect peace. A few weeks ago, y'all know we went through the ice thing. So, nah, I didn't work. That don't mean bill stopping. Right. <laughs> We're talking perfect peace here, man. Honest God truth, I never got up and talked about this. Perfect peace. So that, that don't stop nothing. You know what I'm saying? My bills, $1,300 and things of that nature need to be paid. Perfect peace. So we went through that ice storm or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't work, so that threw us behind. I'm not a millionaire and all of that, so my money, you know, it means something. We're talking perfect peace. So by me not working that week, my wife not worked that week, nobody in our household, so, you know, it threw us, you know, and so one of our biggest bills is coming up. 
perfect peace. I'm a week behind, and uh, we about, I think we were about, ain't no thinking, I know for a fact, we're about five, about $400 short on what I need to do. Perfect peace. So, but I ain't tripping. I'm just sitting at home, you know, my wife, because my wife will look at me, she'd be like, uh, you do know uh, such and such. Uh. <laughs> Why right, you sitting there kicking the bobo? We talking perfect peace here. She right there, my witness. And I look at her and be like, this is what I say, ask her. God know about it. And I'll go back and play my video now. You talking about four or five hundred dollars now I need. You talking perfect peace. So, you know, that time come. It was that day where I need this. She got her, she got her, so we put together what we, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now we got active, but we still up for four or five hundred dollars up. So I'm at work. Now I'm not hurting for nothing, nothing like that, but I ain't I ain't finna ask because God, He gave me peace. And God ain't told put in my spirit to ask nobody for nothing. So I didn't. But I went on with my day like ain't nothing happened. I'm going somewhere with this. So I'm at my day, right? I'm four or five hundred dollars short. I'm telling y'all the honest God truth. So I'm at my job. I don't know why the Holy Ghost just say, move. I move. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I just move. Walk. Stop. Look down. $400 bills in $250. So I'm like this. Because see, now my Holy Ghost is finna come in. It's gonna show me where I'm at now. You know, you've been talking all this Holy Ghost stuff. We finna see if you gonna put your feet on it. <laughs> we finna see how much saved you is. So I'm looking. Oh, that's real. So I'm looking. I just got you. Can yeah, somebody lose four or five hundred dollars? I can look at body language. That money belong to you. So I'm looking around. Nobody saying nothing. Everybody just going on with their day. Bah, 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 bah. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pick this up. So I picked it up, but I already got him set in my heart. Whoever this is, I'm gonna get back to him, and I'm gonna know who it is. This, you know what I'm saying? Nobody lose money like that and take it, you know, easy. So I'm looking around, nothing. I'm asking folks, your day all right? Uh, 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 good day. Yo, dad, I have the best day, my friend. <laughs> you know, I work with a lot of Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dad, I all is well with me. Next day, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, ain't nobody. So then I figure out, hold on. See, I always want, I always want God to bless me like that. I used to hear people say the day I walk out and money be there. I ain't never been blessed like that. You know what I'm saying? So I always want to experience that. You know, the varieties of God. You know, God can bless you all type of ways. You know what I mean? But so I'm talking about perfect peace here. Stay with me, y'all. Remember, I was at home playing video games. My wife was like, hey, y'all, you do know this, right? You know what I'm saying? But perfect peace. And see, what I'm going is, God had already knew about that situation. And to this day, yes, four or $500, was, how much was it? Yeah, it was just right there in front of me. And it was the exact amount that I needed right on the money. Perfect peace. And to this day, hey, uh, you can, nothing to this day. And so I said, God. And then the, the strange thing about it, I wasn't the only one walking. It was other people walking. We in a company here. How could this just be? Bah. And it happened. God on this truth. And to this day, nobody has, and I, nobody. And so my wife was like, nah, Theo, that was, it's gone, there ain't nothing they can do about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's gone. But the point I'm making is this. God know all your, every situation, God know this. I'm a big believer, me and you talked about this a couple of months ago. Trust the plan. Just trust the plan. God know every situation and see like Daphne was talking about when you don't lean on to your own understanding and you know that God got you that will lead to peace. You see where I'm going? 
I could easily flip, man, work in the week and blah, 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 get the borrowed money from David and all that good stuff. No. Peace. And peace stands still. That's what I say in my household. Oh, no, peace stands still here. Peace. Perfect peace. And God will keep you if you want to be kept. I'm not going to hold y'all up. I had this on here, Daphne. This wasn't on here. It, it, it started rolling out. Psalms 29 verse 11 says, The Lord gives strength to his people and the Lord blesses his people with peace. That's just hip hop, y'all. Peace. Peace. It's a blessing to have not only peace, but perfect peace. And remember, I'm wrapping this up. The only time you can get perfect peace, it has to come from God. Matthew 5, verse 9, say, Bless of the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Amen? Do y'all want perfect peace, or you just want the peace the world can give you? And new hope? That's all I have, y'all. That's all I have. Perfect peace, y'all. Only God can get it. Any, uh, any one of the, we good? Anybody? All right, y'all, I'm finna shut down. They ain't gonna hold you up no longer. Appreciate y'all time. I hope I didn't bore y'all. <laughs>